Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. It's something that Google initiated back in about Android 5 to where when an Android device is factory reset without first removing the Google account that's on it, it's then going to ask you to log into that same account again as a security measure after the factory reset has been performed. Now here with us today we happen to have an LG Aristo 5 that is originally from Metro here in the U.S., Metro by T-Mobile, which was previously known as Metro PCS. And this device does indeed have the Google account lock enabled. As we can see here during the setup process, we come to the screen that tells us that it was reset and to continue, we have to sign in with the previous account that was on the device. And at first glance, there doesn't appear to be any way to bypass it if you don't have that Google account login information. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us to assist them with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled, and then after the purchase, the seller had disappeared, the buyer discovered it was locked, and obviously they didn't have the login information, and it's a very common scam that unfortunately happens a lot these days with the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a a service to be able to get this device unlocked from the FRP lock without having to have the previous Google login information. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right through the internet directly to your computer and perform the exact same procedure that we're doing right here right now. So we actually do have the phone plugged into our computer and we're running our unlock program on it that takes off the lock for us. We're just doing this during the video so that you can actually see the before and after proof so that you know that the service is legitimate and it does actually work. Our unlock program needs just another minute or two to finish up running here. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the rest of the video to the end just so we can keep this as short as possible. So hold on while this finishes running through. Okay, we should be all set here, so we're going to go ahead and unplug it. And obviously, as you can see, I kept the phone in view the whole time, so we're not secretly signing into our own Google account or anything like that. No scams, no tricks going on here. We're waiting for it to finish firing up here, and we're going to go ahead and start going through the setup steps, and we will see what we come to. Let's get that part about the second screen. We're going to let it do some updates here. We're not going to copy any apps and data, so we're just going to skip that step. And now this is normally where the Google Lock would show up as it was previously, but now we should be able to see that. Yep, so now it's giving us a different message just asking us to sign in, which means that we can actually just use any Google account instead of specifically having to have the previous one. We're just going to skip that for now, though, because we don't actually need to add an account at this time. And we're just going to finish skipping through all the rest of the setup steps to make sure that we can actually get to the home screen. We don't need a screen lock, so we're going to skip that. We don't need any extra apps. And then we have to agree to the terms and conditions. And then I think that should be the last step. Yep, there we go. We've got the home screen loading up here. So it looks like we have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the Google Lock on it. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to confirm and show you exactly what we are working with. 
So if we go under System and then About Phone, we will indeed be able to see that we have an Aristo 5. And then I know you saw the Metro logo and everything else showing when it was turning on. But then that model number there, the LMK300MM, is what uniquely identifies it as the Aristo 5 from Metro. So if you have one of these devices and need help getting the Google Lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be found right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will also enable you to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.